Okay, Witch and Wombat, Free Witch Leaves a Cat, <laughs> by Ashley Belot. So, Wilma, which um, she couldn't wait until tomorrow because, like, she was going to get her own cat. Like, she's getting ready, and like. Um, can't wait to like ride the broom, the cat be like on the cauldron, help with spells. But when she goes there, no cats left, but here's a wombat. And she's all disappointed and like her classmates are like, what's going on with your cat? <laughs> and like she's all disappointed, like not being what... She's expecting and she's like, oh, I wish I didn't have you, like, I wish you would just disappear. And like, while looking at her friends, he like, burrows down, can't find him, starts looking for him, and then she falls into his burrow when he's trying to learn how to be a cat for her. And then she realizes he's amazing. And then like the pet shop calls, oh, we have a cat if you want to come back. And she's like, oh, why would I need a cat when she has a wombat? So when you get like a few wombat facts at the end as well, like, um, small eyes, poor eyesight, um, upside down pouches, like two other things as well. So, yeah, that having a wombat isn't all bad and can just be as great as having a cat. So, <laughs> Yeah, cute little Halloween witchy type story for your kid. Um, so you don't have to fit in with anybody else and it's okay to be a little different. Um, yeah, witch and wombat. Happy readings.